Hello everyone, apologies for my absence. Have you missed me? No, I didn't think so. But anyway, I'm back. I've been a bit poorly, just a bit of man flu, that's all. Bit of a cough afterwards. A bit run down, a bit depressed, a bit blur, if you uh, want to know. But I'm back. Not quite in full fettle, but almost. You don't want to hear my personal things, do you? This is not about me. It's not a vlog. It's about cook. We cook so you don't have to. This is my first ever cook haul. Cook have some shops around the place. I don't know where, but there's definitely one in York um, at Monk's Cross because I've been there. And I think there's one in East Grinstead in West Sussex. And anyway, go on to Cook's website. You'll see where the stores are. If you haven't a store nearby, you can have all your frozen cooked food delivered. And it's just arrived with 10 minutes ago. It should all be still frozen. So I've had quite a big haul because it's my first order. I got 10% off. Some of this is for Christmas Day and some of it is to go in my freezer um, for meals for myself. So without any further ado, let's open the first box. And we've got a little bit of blurb, a little bit of a leaflet. Um, telling you all about Cook's Christmas meals. So the reason I've, I've gone for this, my mum likes cook stuff. She, she occasionally goes to the York one and she gets some cook things. And they are a bit pricey, I would say, sort of on a par though with M&S ready meals. Although some of the portions are a bit smaller than M&S ones. But if you're living on your own um, or you just can't be bothered to cook, this could be something for you. But yes, if you want a Christmas dinner, you can just order the whole thing and have it delivered. No messing about. And that's one of the reasons I bought. In fact, my mum, we always go to my mum's at Christmas. She's, the whole family's vegetarian more or less. And so my mum does this really nice pine nut roast with this um, onion bread sauce, which is lovely. And it's really nice cold the next day as well. But she doesn't like cooking anymore. She doesn't like all the faff. So we're bringing all the accoutrement for Christmas Day. My mum is providing the main and we're providing all the vegetables, etc. So some of the stuff in here will be for Christmas. So we've got uh, ooh, a load of packaging. This will be useful later on. Careful, hang on, it's, it's got something, it something here. Uh, the white bags in this box contain dry ice, which is seriously chilly and not fit for human consumption. Use a tea towel or oven gloves to handle with care, then just leave them to safely evaporate overnight out of reach of children and pets. Right, well, I haven't got any gloves. We'll see if it's going to be okay. Oh, well, here's... Oh, it is cold, but, you know... Nippon gases. Is it all going to be frozen? Right. So some of these, um, as I say, are for myself and partner. So we have a classic lemon tart. Serves six to eight. <laughs> yeah, six to eight tiny children. I would say four adults with a healthy appetite. Six who aren't so... Um, you know, aren't so hungry, but certainly I can't see eight people. So that's just a lemon tart. Everything I'm showing you in here is vegetarian. Of course, they do meat dishes as well. This is a pear and ginger tart. Um, soft pears and ginger in a classic frangipani tart finished with flecked almonds. Lovely with custard. That would be warmed up, obviously. Um, so that's uh, that'll be a nice winter dessert. Right, this is one of my meals. As you can see, they are quite small. So if you're on a diet, if you want a sort of portion control, maybe this would be for you as well. But this, for some people, that wouldn't be enough. A lot of these um, dishes, you could add your own veg to and bulk them up, you know, I'm not sure. Well, with this vegetable korma, um, I could have a naan bread. I could have a starter of a couple of onion barges or samosas or, or that sort of thing just to make it a bit more filling and that's what I'll do. So that's a mild sweet curry of cauliflower florets, chickpeas and baby spinach cooked in a coconut, almond and yoghurt sauce. 
I think that, mm, oh no, that isn't vegan, is it? Some things are vegan. I think that's just because it's got the yogurt. I think that's vegetarian. So that can be microwave or oven cooked. Now this, I think, yes, these roasted potatoes serves for, that's, I'm gonna put these separate. I'm gonna make a separate pile. This is for our Christmas day dinner. Um, it's for three of us, but yeah. If you've got three healthy adults with a good appetite, one of these serves four, I think will do three nicely. But yeah, you could serve four. It's, there's quite a lot in there. Um, 800 grams. Again, this is for Christmas. This is uh, carrots with orange and thyme. Another thing that we're having for Christmas, buttered sprouts and buttered leeks. And those serve, serves four, that serves four. And I think the carrots serve four as well, yes. So yeah, it's gonna serve three on Christmas day, the three things I've just shown you. And again, these are roast parsnips. Oh, they serve four, I thought I got one serving two. Oh well, so that's parsnips. So, Everything in this box, actually. Right, I'll put back in the box for now to keep it chilled. Well, not everything in the box, but those items are for our Christmas day. So we'll tuck those back up in the blanket, put them down. I'll quickly put these in my freezer and then we'll have a look what's inside the big box. So I have ordered quite a lot of stuff. Uh, as I say, it's not just for Christmas. Everything I'm showing you, I'll just tell you, full disclosure, how much it cost. Blimey. <laughs> right, that was a lot of money. 191.72. Um, actually, it was 211.65, this whole haul, but I got 90.93 discount. Um, so yeah, 19172, blimey. I must have been hungry when I ordered this. Right, it's, go it's going to do me for quite a lot of meals though, so. Okie dokie, so, more meals. I got two vegetable cormas, they're for one obviously. A mild sweet curry of cauliflower florets, chickpeas and baby spinach cooked in a coconut almond and yogurt sauce. Is that what I've just shown you earlier? I think I might have bought three of those or four. So uh, they're to go into my chest freezer. Let's pop them there. Another curry, this is yellow vegetable curry. Our popular Indonesian style curry with roasted vegetables, green beans and toasted cashews. That is actually a vegan one. Uh, another couple, these will make uh, th these will form parts of a meal i've bought um, they're quite small but i could have that with salad i could have that with mixed veg and some potatoes whatever i fancy really so these are roasted mediterranean vegetable tarts roasted red peppers tomatoes aubergines and courgettes in an all butter pastry case topped with cheese pine nut and basil crumb so it says serves two because there are two individual uh, tarts two tarts uh, so i bought two of them for the freezer um, some creamy mash very lazy that just serves one mashed potato with mascarpone butter salt and pepper so these are a little bit better than the sort of regular um convenience meals you can buy from the supermarket but as i said they're quite mm, stingy on the portion size. So these, this is just serves one, dauphinoise potatoes, layers of thinly sliced potatoes baked in a cream and garlic sauce, topped with mature cheddar cheese. So that's, you know, a side, that would go maybe with a tart, could have that with a tart and some veg. So there's that, and then also a dessert. Ooh. Uh, chocolate and salted caramel mousse, serves two, so there are two individual ones in here. A chocolate mascarpone mousse on top of crumbly shortbread with a secret salted caramel middle. Well, it's not a secret now because they've told us on the on the packet, haven't they? So again, they're two times 85 grams. So that's a pudding. 
is another pudding. We've had this when we went to the York store. Uh, we went recently with my mum and we bought this to have um, after our Sunday dinner. So it says serve six to eight, but we had about a quarter of it each and there was a piece left over for my mum. So this is apricot and orange almond tort. This is actually vegan. A ground almond and polenta tort soaked in orange syrup with apricot halves and flaked almonds. That was very nice. Um, we had some nice um, Madagascan vanilla custard with it. Just warmed through. That was a, a nice pudding to have after a, a Sunday dinner. These, I'm not sure how I'm going to... Um, I probably would have two of these personally if I was eating these on my own. These are Fiji's fondant souffles, a vintage cheddar and thyme souffle with a mature cheddar and Italian style hard cheese fondant center. Ah, uh, let's, oh, are they vegetarian? Because of the hard cheese. I'm assuming, I think I did look at vegetarian. Um, mmm, <laughs> if they're not, there's no V on them. Normally would be a V. I'll, I'll look at that. Oh yes, sorry, there is a small little V. It's not green. They are vegetarian. It's just a bit worried about the hard cheese not being vegetarian. Um, I've got another creamy mash. Oh, and another Dauphinoise potato. Oh, oh dear, that's a bit open. That's not very good, is it? But I'm sure it'll be fine. Vegetable spring rolls, four handcrafted crispy rolls filled with shredded vegetables, sweet chili, soy and ginger. These are vegan. They serve two. There's four rolls in there. So again, I would add this as a little starter to one of the curry dishes. So that's that. And I got uh, two of those. There we are. Um, another meal for myself, and again it's vegan, uh, red lentil and mixed bean casserole, tender lentils, beans and fresh spinach with seasonal vegetables in a tomato and basil sauce. Again, they're very small portions really, 290 grams. I would have bought more than one of those. Veg veggie bolognese, that's just vegetarian. A rich slow cooked ragu of corn mince, red wine and tomato served with whole wheat spaghetti and topped with cheese. That's 390 grams, a bit heftier. So let's get all these are meals for myself. Um, so, you know, it's going to, I've got several, sort of many, many uh, days or weeks of food to eat. But as I said, I will be adding things to sort of beef them up a bit. Uh, this is a veggie chili con veggie, a classic rich chili made with corn mince, kidney beans and sweet corn garnished with spring onions. Serves one. Most of these serve one. So yeah, I'm saying if you live on your own or if you're in a couple and you eat completely different things like I do, then this could be something to consider. Um, more Brussels sprouts and buttered leeks. That serves two, but that would serve me just one really. There's not huge amount in there. Depends how, how much you like Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Uh, oh again, another thing to go with the curry. Onion barges here. These are vegan. Serves two. I think you get four in there. Another curry. Green Thai vegetable. Not sure if I've shown you that yet. I've shown you a few curries. Um, an aromatic green Thai curry with coconut milk, roasted butternut squash, Red peppers, I don't know how to pronounce that. Endamine, endam, edamine, beans, and baby corn. That's vegan. Don't worry if you're not vegan or vegetarian, you will find plenty of meat dishes from Cook. Red, red lentil and mixed bean casserole. Have I shown you one of those? Yes, I have. That's just a duplicate. A macaroni cheese here. Rich, cheesy, irresistible, made with vintage West Country cheddar, comfort food at its finest. It even tells you who's cooked it here, look. Someone called Anis has cooked that one. They, they all show who's cooked them. This is cooked by Steve Wade. This is another chili con veggie, which I've shown you. This, that's quite a hefty one. That's 365 grams. This was cooked by Barry Coppins. Thanks, Barry, for cooking my dinner. This um, has roasted courgettes, aubergines, halloumi with 
cano something, cano locky pasta in a spicy tomato sauce topped with crumbled feta. I don't like courgettes or aubergines, but I think in something like this, I'll just ugh, eat round them. It's not like they're, they're only chopped up small. I've got another halloumi pasta bake. Uh, another veggie bolognese. Some of these I bought four of. Hopefully I like them. There's another macaroni cheese. I've had a few of these items before, but not many. This is my first more barges. And so this is my first proper order. So once I've eaten all this, I'll know which to order again, because I expect I will order again from Cook. Uh, another halloumi, I think I bought four of them. Uh, another curry, sweet potato katsu curry, that's vegan. Roasted sweet potato with julienne carrot, cabbage, and those beans I can't pronounce, in a katsu curry sauce served with rice and finished with pumpkin seeds. That's the 70 grams. Barry made that as well. Barry's been a busy boy. I think I've had this before, it was nice. Um, this is like in a pot. Like you see, little pot. I think you can microwave those. Yes, that's a microwavable pot. So if you're in a hurry, probably better than a pot noodle, but at 475, costs a lot more than a pot noodle. But I think it'd be better for you than a pot noodle. So this is halloumi and roasted vegetable pasta. Halloumi cheese with roasted courgettes, yellow peppers and cherry tomatoes with a something pasta <laughs> and a tomato and basil pesto sauce. And it gives you, it's high protein that, so if you're on high protein, possibly that could be for you. It's got the calorie values as well. Uh, so it's part of their eating well, love eating well range. So I've got one, two, three, five, I've no, just bought two, two of them. Oh, trio of greens, I think that's to add. Yeah, these serve two. So both of these trios of greens, they're to go with my Christmas day stuff that I'm taking to my mum's. As well as, this is a cauliflower cheese. So I think that, so we're certainly having a lot for Christmas day. So there's two cauliflower cheeses there and uh, cooked by can't see. Oh, Aaron. Aaron Walpole cooked this. So I think that's, I think that's everything. Let me just check. Yep, that's everything from Cook. Well, there you go. I think that's more or less everything, apart from a few items I've already put in the freezer. Just need to check off my invoice. Just tick everything off, make sure I've got everything. So this at the front is everything that I'm taking to my mum's for our Christmas day dinner. So two cauliflower cheeses, the carrots, roast potatoes, roast parsnips, and the Brussels sprouts and buttered leeks. I think that should be enough. My mum doesn't eat much. Um, plus of course, we've got her main, her lovely nut roast that she does, pine nut roast with the sauce. Um, expect we'll have a bit of uh, alcohol to drink with the meal and um, I expect there'll be a nice pudding well my partner will be having a Christmas pudding I don't like Christmas pudding I don't like anything Christmas I don't like Christmas pudding I don't like Christmas cake I don't like mince pies all that I don't like any of it so hopefully fingers crossed my mum will have um, made one dessert that um, we can all enjoy we don't want to eat too much Christmas everyone eats far too much don't they so I think that's fine. Um, pretty happy with the condition. Everything feels frozen solid still. So yes, if you're interested, you can go to www.cookfood.net. I assume this is UK only. And you can peruse their selection. As I said, this is just all vegetarian and vegan stuff. They do a lot of other stuff as well. It's just a selection that I could eat. But obviously there's a lot of meat things as well. Um, and a lot, this is loads of stuff, loads more desserts. They have gelatine in, so I couldn't order them. But if you eat anything, then you will find there's a huge selection of these frozen meals for you. This isn't sponsored by Cook. I paid for this myself. I'm just showing you what I bought. Um, but always check out before you order anything, if it's your first order, if it doesn't tell you, you can have some money off your first order. Just go on the internet and, and search for discounts 
because often the first time you order for many companies, they'll give you an introductory at least 10%. And I think that's what I got was 10% off this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all at some point for the next video. Bye for now.